Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to discuss about statics of rigid bodies. So this video guys is particularly about equilibrium of particles in two-dimensional system. So this is part 3. And if you want to watch the part 1 and 2 of this video, just click the link on the description of this video. Let's solve this first problem. Members A, B, and A, C support the 300 pound crate. Determine the tensile force developed in each member. So the first step to solve this problem, guys, is to uh, make a free body diagram representing each force on the system. Okay. So uh, let's say we have here the free body diagram of so F B D of. Uh, let's say ito, this uh, pin A. Okay. So we have that A here. And the forces acting on that pin, of course, is the forces in members AB, AC, and of course, the weight of the crate, yung weight niya. Okay, so uh, we have here, that is, let's say, force AB or TAB. And then we have here, okay, that is the force in member AC. And we have the weight that is acting downward. So we have the weight here. Okay. So uh, to maintain equilibrium, okay, we have uh, the concept that the summation, okay, the summation of the forces acting on the x-axis is zero. So dapat meron tayong na-establish na sense of direction, guys. Uh, yung sense of direction natin for positive axis is going to the right that is positive so our condition to make this body in equilibrium or this system in equilibrium we have the summation of forces along the y-axis is equal to zero okay all forces that are going upward are positive this means that this is a two-dimensional system because we are just considering x and y axis because the system uh, the forces in the system uh, acts on the x and y axis only so hindi siya three-dimensional so, analyze natin yung system, no? The only forces that uh, acts on the x-axis are the x-component of, okay, member AB, the force acting on member AB, and the x-component of the force that is acting on member AC. Okay? So, hanapin natin yung mga components niya, x-components niya, uh, based on your force triangle. Okay? So, the x-component of the force acting on member uh, AB is going here. No, it's positive. So if you're drawing a vector, so make sure that you draw it uh, from the tail of the vector and going away to the tail. Okay. So we have here. Uh, this is the x component of tension or the force AB. Okay. And then we have here the that is the y component of the force acting on member AB. Okay? So, ito si TABY, pwede mo siyang i-translate dito sa other side. Okay? So, you can form a right triangle. Okay? So, ito, let's say angle theta. So, here, after you draw that uh, triangle, na focus lang muna tayo kay, ano, kay tension AB or force AB. So, dito, uh, you can just solve for tension AB x component niya and y component using trigonometry. Okay, so this is just equal to the hypotenuse, okay, tension AB, times, okay, see, tension ABX is actually the, so if this is your angle here, adjacent side siya. So therefore, that is cosine. So cosine theta. Si uh, y component naman ng tension AB natin or force AB is actually an opposite side. So that is sine theta. So this is TAB sine of theta and si sine theta and cosine theta can be found using your figure okay the proportions or the dimensions in your figure so create a triangle here gawa ka ng triangle okay and then of course this is 4 feet this is 4 feet and of course this hypotenuse here okay should be the uh, sum of the squares of these two sides so that's 4 squared plus 
4 squared. So that gives you, okay, you can just use your calculator to solve that, but that's just equal to uh, 4 square root of 2. Okay, 4 square root of 2. Okay, so if this is your angle theta, okay, so sine theta is just equal to, so dito natin ilagay sa kabila. Kasi we have another triangle on that left side. Okay, so let's just put it here. So we have uh, sine theta is just equal to, so you have here, uh, that is opposite over hypotenuse, diba? So that's just 4 over 4 square root of 2. So that just gives you uh, 1 over square root of 2. So that is, uh, or square root of 2 over 2 yan. So kung gagawin natin rationalize yan, so multiply lang sa square root of 2 over square root of 2. So sine theta just gives you square root of 2 over 2. Okay? And then cosine of theta, so that's also 4 over, uh, that's just also 4 over, 4 over, uh, 4 square root of 2. So that's just adjacent over hypotenuse, diba? So that's just square root of 2 over 2 also. Okay? So meron ka ng sine and uh, cosine. So pwede mong ilagay yan dyan, no? So TABY. Okay? So TAB. is just equal to, have here, TAB sine theta. So, TAB sine of theta. Okay? And then, si T sub ABX is just equal to TAB cosine of theta. And we have here, so, TAB sine theta natin, guys, is square root of 2 over 2. So, ito pala natin i-express as Okay, square root of 2 over 2, that is TAB, as well as TABX, that is square root of 2 over 2, T sub AB. Okay? So, uh, let's get the X component of T sub AC naman. Okay? So, let's get its uh, X component. So, of course, your X component is going here, and then the Y component of TAC is going uh, up. Okay? So, uh, disregard na muna si TAB kasi tapos sa tayo dun, let's focus here kay AC. Okay? So, uh, if your angle here is this one, let's say theta. Okay? So, don't confuse this na uh, because we're done with TAB. So, gamitin ulit natin si theta for the second uh, vector, first vector. So, this is the uh, T sub uh, AC. Y, and we have here this uh, component for x-axis. Okay, so let's just delete this first for us to have a space there. And okay, ayan. So we have here T sub AC X. Okay. So again, using our trigonometry, we can actually get the X component and Y component of T sub AC. Okay. Uh, express in terms of T sub AC. So, dito we have here T sub ACX is just equal to, okay, so that's just T sub AC cosine of theta, okay? So, T sub ACX is just equal to, so yung cosine theta natin, di ba, ito yung angle natin. So, this triangle here, this is 3 and this is 4 feet. Of course, the hypotenuse should be equal to square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared. So, square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared. So, that's just equal to 5. Okay? So, uh, yung cosine theta dito is just equal to, we have here adjacent over hypotenuse. That's just equal to 3 fifths. Okay? And then, sine theta is just equal to opposite over hypotenuse. That is 4 fifths. So, after that, so, yun natin makuha yan. So, T sub AC, uh, TAC cosine theta that's just equal to uh, yung AY natin. So, that is so, yung T sub ACY natin just equal to TAC sine of theta. Okay? So, let's just put that here. So, for T sub AC X that is uh, TAC cosine theta, ang cosine theta natin is 3 fifths, diba? So, that's just 3 fifths, okay? T sub AC. 
And of course, you have here for uh, T sub ACY. So T sub ACY is just equal to T sub AC sine theta. Sine theta natin is 4 fifths. So that's just 4 fifths T sub AC. So now we can perform uh, equilibrium equations. Okay? So summation of forces along x is equal to 0. All forces going to the right is positive. Okay? Ano yung mga forces that are going to the right? So isa lang yung force that is going to the right. That is T sub ABX. Okay? So, that is positive. So, T sub ABX is positive. Okay, T sub ACX, as you can see in the figure, is going to the left. So, siya ay negative. Diba? So, negative T sub ACX is equal to 0. So, wala nang forces that are acting on the x-axis aside from T sub ACX and T sub A, uh, ABX. So, so, yun lang yung mga forces natin that are involved on the x-axis. Okay? So, T sub A, B, X, eto, lagay lang natin, no? Ayan. Square root of 2 over 2, T sub A, B. And we have here minus T sub A, C, X natin. That is uh, 3 fifths T sub A, C and equal to 0. So, you have this equation number 1. So, for summation, of the forces acting on y-axis equals 0, so upward positive. So, what are the forces that are acting on the y-axis? So, yung y-component ni member AB and y-component ni member AC and of course, the weight. Okay, ano yung mga upward? Dalawa yung upward, T sub ABY, T sub ACY. Okay, okay natin, T sub uh, ABY plus T sub ACY. So, they are both positive kasi lahat sila pataas, no? Yung pababa lang is si weight natin, which is minus W equals 0. So, lagay natin yung mga equivalent niya in terms of uh, AB and AC. So, the ABY that's just square root of 2 over 2 T sub AB. Okay? Plus T sub ACY. What's that? That is 4 fifths. Okay? Plus 4 fifths T sub AC minus weight. Ano yung weight natin? Weight is 300 pounds. Okay? The weight of the crate is 300 pounds. Lagyan natin dito. Minus 300 pounds equals 0. So, now you have this equation 2. Okay? So, from here, so we can see that square root of 2 over 2 T sub AB is just equal to 3 fifths. T sub AC. Okay, substitute this value to our second equation. Okay, so that is etong square root of 2 over 2 T sub AB natin. That's just equal to 3 fifths T AC. Okay, plus 4 fifths T AC. Si 300 pounds, labas natin sa so maging positive siya. So 300 pound force. Okay, so add natin to, no? So 3 plus 4, that's just 7. So 7 fifths T AC equals 300. So now we can solve for TAC. Okay, so that's just so 7 fifths TAC equals 300 pound force. Okay, so TAC, so multiply by 5 both sides and divide by 7 both sides. So 5 times 300 pounds over 7. Okay, so TAC natin is 5 times 300 divide by 7. So that gives you. So, that gives you a uh, 214.3. So, 214.3, that is pound force. Okay, so that is the force acting on member AC. So, what about the force acting on member uh, AB? Okay, so for member AB, uh, just substitute the value for AC. Doon sa equation 1 natin. So, square root of 2 over 2. So, tension AB equals 3 fifths tension uh, AC. Okay? So, multiply by 2 both sides so that becomes uh, square root of 2. So, TAB equals, so multiply tayo ng 2 both sides so that becomes 6 TAC over 5. So, divide by square root of 2 both sides. Square root of 2. So, therefore, we have uh, tension AB as just, just 6 over 5 square root of 2 
times TAC natin which is 214.3 pounds. So TAB is just equal to, we have here times 6, yung answer kanina, no? And then divide by 5 squared of 2. So tension AB natin is 181.8, that is pound force. So these are, okay, these are the tensions or the forces acting on member AB and AC. Okay, so let's proceed to our next problem.